Hello and welcome to From the Depths. My name is Reese Cuzdis, curator here at the Door County Maritime Museum, and here we are exploring an interesting hidden part of our museum's collection. This right here is the fully enclosed life pod from the Edwin H. Gott, a thousand and foot, uh, 1,004 foot long uh, freighter that was built right here in Sturgeon Bay at the Bay Shipbuilding Corporation in 1979. It is representative of one of 13,000 footers that were built in the 1970s going to 1981. So why don't we go ahead, we're going to get a closer look and even get inside for a behind the scenes look that you normally wouldn't get from just coming to our museum. So normally this is uh, completely close to the public, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to get a closer look. now. If you were on the Great Lakes during the middle of the storm, the first thing you're gonna do, uh, besides saying your prayers, is actually approach here. You're gonna undo the water tight latches that freeze it, and then we're gonna go ahead and put a little elbow grease into it and work it loose. At which point, we now have entry. Yeah. So this enclosed lifeboat was actually designed and built by Watercraft America Incorporated in 1978. And it was actually designed to handle all kinds of conditions that a ship could potentially find itself out in the middle of sea. This fully enclosed lifeboat could handle hurricane strength winds and waves, fire, noxious chemicals, really anything. So you can imagine how it must have felt to try to fit 44 people in this small tin can of an enclosed space. And you get those waves going, well the seasickness and smell must have been almost unbearable. So what makes this fully enclosed lifeboat different than, well, its open counterparts is the fact that it actually contains a relatively large diesel engine. What would happen is after everybody got inside and the uh, lifeboat was lowered into the water and you're trying to get away, well, one of the crew members would take control, do his or her best to try to steer to safety, and, well, operate what's effectively a tractor in a fiberglass shell. You'd be able to actually get away from the ship, but you can imagine all the vibrations and just heavy sounds and fumes. I mean, even just sitting here right now, ooh, it stinks. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and let's, go, let's get ourselves to safety as well. Well, looks like we've made it safe to shore. Thanks for joining us here in our most recent episode on From the Depths, where we explored the Edwin H. Gott lifeboat. If you're interested in more stories like this, go ahead and come to our website, www.dcmm.org, and I hope to see you there.